Good morning. Today we have a very special chapel. We are having the ninth graders uh, share their experiences as they transition from middle school to high school. Particularly, they are going to share their experiences regarding the changes they experience in their school life, relationships, and their spiritual lives. We're going to start with Rina, Leo, DK, and Sean, who will share their experiences on how their school life has changed as they move from eighth grade to ninth grade. Like Dr. Sun said, uh, our group is going to talk about the changes in school life. So I chose the changes in classes. So when I became a ninth grader, having the high school curriculum, many classes changed. Uh, so for example, geography became word history, physical science became biology, Miss Pauline did English, but now with Mr. John, and Algebra 1 became geometry. Uh, this made me spend more time studying and trained me to develop better study habits as the subjects got really harder compared to the classes in the 8th grade. Uh, like how Rina said, our classes has changed a lot and as well as our uh, works. Our homework got really harder and the amount of homework got really increased. And because of this, I spend more time working on my homeworks and assignment than I used to when I was in 8th grade. Uh, so, uh, as we mentioned, the workload from 8th grade to 9th grade did increase, though the amount of homework did not really increase. So, uh, as an 8th grader, I don't have time for extracurricular activities, such as uh, I did violin, drums, and uh, I learned basketball outside of school. But as I became a ninth grader, I couldn't find enough time to do these things outside of school. But uh, becoming a high schooler maybe was a good blessing for me because uh, I had the chance to be able to do these activities in school. Uh, so for example, uh, I'm part of the school orchestra and uh, I have the privilege to become basketball chair this semester. So I think that uh, becoming a high schooler isn't really all that bad. So one big change that happened in my school life is our school moved from Tanyan to Jungsan. And uh, our school has a great location as it's surrounded by McDonald's and a store and a bakery and a um, bus station. So it, for example, if you're like hungry, we can go to McDonald's and eat like McMorning and if you are in need of bananas, for example, we can go to the grocery store and get some bananas. So that's why it's, our school's location is very great. And um, uh, one ha episode that happened while coming to the school is I it was snowing a lot that day for some reason. And I was going downhill and my brakes started not, like not working. And then uh, I almost met God. <laughs> and yes. It was very uh, one step closer to God you can be when you go to our school. Um, thank you, DK, Sean, uh, Rina, and Leo for sharing your experiences. And as you know, you can see our ninth graders studying hard before school, during homework time, etc. And you see them um, being more active in their extracurricular activities like the purple math and basketball and the green piece, etc. Now we're going to move on to our next topics, which are changes in relationships. And Jay, Grace, Tiffany, Irene are going to describe their experiences and what has been happening within their families, friends, classmates, church friends as they move from eighth grade to ninth grade. The biggest change in a relationship um, is the number of classmates I blend together with since I'm new to the school. And before I, before this semester, I used to spend little time with a lot of people, but now it's quite the opposite. And from that, I'm learning a lot of life lessons related to relationships. For example, I am learning how to recognize and deal with my friends' emotions, which I was not really skilled in. And I think that's really useful. Um, speaking of classmates, um, before I was a freshman, my relationship with friends in this class, it was not very good because I was not that nice to them. And 
um, in turn, they were not really nice to me. But after I became a high schooler, um, I sort of matured. So um, now, as a ninth grader, I treat them with more respect and more kindness. And so in turn, they do the same for me. Um, as Grace and Tiffany said, my relationship between friends and classmates changed, but also my relationship between my church friends changed after I went to the church retreat for the first time in my life, and I made new friends there, and going to church became more comfortable, and uh, <clears throat> making and having Christian friends around me um, uh, motivated me to learn about God more and yeah so as we talk about our, our friends uh, their relationship has changed and also my family relationships have changed before I enter high school my family just my just general family but now there are my like mentors and my life counselors my parents start to giving me and encourage me to study about the business and economy and how how the work goes and for my and my brother started to tell me about the like, giving me advice how to study and how to make a habit of studying and especially my first brother give helped me a lot in terms of studying and focusing on what should I do and they they told me to seriously think about my future and my future careers. Thank you, um, Grace, Tiffany, Irene, and Jay for sharing your experiences in the changes you had in your relationships as you move from middle school to high school. Now, the last crew will discuss their changes in their spiritual life. So we'll have Philip, Paul, and Brian talk about it. For me, some changes that were made were about my spiritual struggles. Um, so for the fast, past few years, I've been actually not going to church that often. And it was because I felt like I actually didn't belong to there because of like personal reasons. But recently, as I turned ninth grade, I found a new church and I've been contemplating to actually go to there. But then again, there were um, internal struggles and temptations that kept preventing me from considering about the positive sides of changes and also just the negative sides about it. Um, same as Brian, after I became a high schooler, the amount of times I went to church decreased a lot. But not only that, I experienced lots of spiritual growths uh, inside me. So before I used to think that, you know, in all areas I could do things by myself without anyone's help. But after experiencing lots of, um, I guess, fails, I felt that I should get help from my surrounding people, like my friends, my parents, and especially God. Um, like tell him what is making me feel like down and upset and one bible verse i want to share is proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 is commit to the lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans uh for me in middle school i felt like i didn't have a deeper connection with god and the bible due to me not having like a real spiritual mentor but now that i've moved on to high school and i have to focus more on academics and focus more on my faith in God. I feel like I've had a spiritual mentorship and connection with Dr. Lee's sermons. Uh, one example of his sermons is called Feed Your Sheep. And this one talks about Apostle Paul and Jesus. And this really uh, helped me grow my spirituality and faith in Christ. Thank you, Philip, Paul, and Brian for sharing about how your spiritual life has changed from 8th grade to ninth grade. Uh, let's give our 8th grade a hand for sharing and preparing for this chapel. 
Uh, I would like to end our chapel today by sharing one verse. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. It says, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Today, we heard how our 8th graders, um, ninth graders right now, changed from middle to high school, and that might have been a big change. And those changes brought maybe some struggles and some insecurities, but it's very uh, nice to see how they are mature and they are growing with a lot of support from our teacher staff and from other peers as well. I will close with prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this chapel. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to share how you have been with us from uh, during this transition from middle school to high school. We pray that through the experiences that we share today, other students would be uh, touched, encouraged, and also challenged as they go through many changes, not only from middle to high school, but maybe from high school to college, from elementary to middle school, or even to the uh, next grade level. God be with us, especially bless the ninth graders as they um, strongly finish this semester and let them be proud of what they have achieved during this first year of high school. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.